Good morning, everybody. Normally I play a little video before the video, video before the video, um, but I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> it is Sunday morning. I am not presentable, so let's chalk. <laughs> we actually have family photos today. Hey, Nikki. And do you know how I know we have family photos? Because I have a new friend who came in yesterday because we have family photos. <laughs> So behind me is pretty empty. I still, um, I had a show yesterday um, and a workshop on Friday. I don't like this behind me. Usually my big stand covers that. And then I have a private party today. So it's early morning chalking. Um, I don't even want you to look at me. <laughs> but I wanted to make a cute tray today. So I'm gonna show you guys my workstation. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, good morning. Mm. I really needed some coffee. Dun, dun, dun. So today I wanna make a cute little um, serving tray for Christmas or the holidays or forever you want like cocoa and cookies, right? All the time. So here's what I have. I have one of these cute trays. They come unfinished. I went ahead and took some acrylic paint and I painted it red for the holiday. Um, it's just a cute little tray and you can find these at some of your local craft stores. Um, I bought them in um, bulk when I saw them before they went on clearance. So I'm not sure if they still have them. I'm trying to think of which way I have to go. Um, so I painted the outside in some acrylic paint and then I waxed the surface because you could tell this is not actually like a chalkboard. This is like a spray on um, chalk and our adhesive backing for our reusable silkscreen transfers um, is sticky. So you don't want to stick something to a questionable surface. Um, and then when you go to pull off your transfer, you take off some of that spray on chalk um, and then your project is ruined, your transfer is ruined. So it's always good to wax. You can use our Chalkology Chalk Paste Wax. Um, I have a big can of this that I got from the hardware store. It's called Min Wax Natural Paste Finishing Wax. Um, I have had this for a year and I haven't even gone halfway through it. I recommend this for big product projects. Um, but if you have a small project or you just want to wax in between layers, um, depending on where you live and how humid um, it could be, there's some designers that um, find that if they're layering a project like we're going to do today, if you do one layer, take like our Chalkology chalk wax, paste wax, and wax it. Um, hey, Jody. Hey, Julie and you wax it, then um, you don't have any peeling coming up. And really this depends on if you live in a humid area. Um, I live in Manchester, Maryland, so I don't have a huge problem with humidity most of the time. So I don't have to worry about waxing in between layers. So you may need to do some trial and error. Mm -hmm. And check. So here's my little tray. And I know we did this one as an ink project, but I really want to chalk this on this tray, okay? It is our Baking Spirits Bright Gingerbread Man. So I have used this one, I can't even tell you how many times yet. I think this might be number four because I made some presents with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this cute guy down on my board. Um, there's a lot of screen to the bottom layer, okay? So you wanna really make sure that you get all the air bubbles out. And I'm gonna do that just by going like this. I love this transfer. I think I'm gonna need to get a few more because I think um, I'm gonna make a lot of gingerbread cookies. And then just make sure all around the screen you have a good seal. Yeah? 
Um, and then for gingerbread men, we can do a brown bark. We could do a lighter gingerbread man in iced coffee. Um, ooh, do I have my white out? Oh, I have some white, let me see. I don't have anything down here. What was I thinking? I don't even have my spray bottle. Oh, I have another spray bottle because I'm gonna need it for this white. So go ahead and make a vote. Do you wanna see the gingerbread man in a darker brown bark? Or would you like it in the lighter brown um, iced coffee? Let me get my little bottle. Pour a little bit of distilled water in here. Oh, I may have poured too much. Let me see. Mm -hmm. oh, I totally just made this a little watery. <laughs> made that a little watery. I'm still sleepy. What did I do? What did I do? I may have to use a bright white packet, which is good because I can show you guys how to use these um, because my full size white chalk paste is in the car um, for my private party after my family photos. So I am going to just need this packet. Do, 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 do. This helps to um, break it down. So if you get these, I was brushing my teeth. What's going on the other side? Other side of the tray, Nikki? You have to see. All right, so you wanna really need this, especially the white. The white, like I said, I think it's because it doesn't have a lot of pigment. I don't know if that's a scientific fact, um, but it loses a lot more of the moisture. It evaporates. But you wanna take your packets and knead them, especially if you were at one of my shows and you got a little bundle, you wanna do this when you get the packet because they may have neglected to tell you that. Okay, so there we go. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the bark because I don't have any votes on that. Okay, and then we're gonna take a stir stick. You wanna make sure your chalk paste is the consistency of like a sour cream or a yogurt. And then I'm gonna put some on this guy here. I'm gonna take a small squeegee like this and we're just gonna spread it on the screen. Now there's registration marks on here and I'm not sure if I wanna do them or not. I'm gonna decide in the next two seconds <laughs> and then put all the excess paste in the jar. I guess I should have put some tape down because I'm worried that this, well, I did wax it though. Let me see. I just don't know if I put it down, if it's going to, <clears throat> I think depending on that, we'll decide which color to do the gingerbread mint. I gotcha. So I'm going to put down this tape. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to see this with the brown, but I'm going to do it. The registration marks on the tape, just in case it doesn't come off since it's not a chalk couture service. And we're just gonna peel this off. Oh, so cute. Now, when you have this, you can either put this in a little basin of water to keep it moist. I just sit it out and I'll take it to the sink when I'm done. You don't want it to sit in the sink too long because the adhesive side on the back, you wanna to try to keep as sticky as you can. And if you lay it in water for a long period of time, it starts to um, dissolve that, okay? So you definitely don't wanna leave this in water overnight, especially. Um, but you're gonna to wanna to take this to the sink 
I take a board eraser and I just wash the top. I don't wash the back unless um, I have paste on the back. Um, and if I do have paste on the back, I'm gonna go very gently with my hand like this to get it off. Um, and then I'm gonna set it on a countertop or on a towel with the sticky side up, okay? Sticky side up. Um, oh good, I can see my registration mark on my, on my tape there. So if you're using a fabric or you're doing something that you don't wanna mark up, you can use a piece of tape or something like that and you can still line it up without actually marking on what you're doing. Uh, what is that? And then if you're layering, you wanna make sure your layer is completely dry. Let that come back to room temperature. Dun, 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 dun. And we're gonna get our fuzzing cloth ready. So you want a fuzzing cloth so that you can soften your adhesive. Um, our silk screen transfers have an adhesive backing. It's vinyl, that's adhesive. But if it's too sticky, when you go to layer it on here, it could pull up some of the paste you already did, especially if you live in a more humid area like we talked about. Um, or when you go to pull it up, it can stretch or transfer. It's kind of like a fabric. Some people, when they see this from a distance, they think it's like a hole through this and it's like a stencil. It's not a stencil, it is a transfer. So there's a little silk screen in all of the negative space, okay? So everything you can see through on the backing is what your chalk paste is gonna go through, okay? And that looks dry. So all you have to do to fuzz it is take it off of your backer and stick it on your fuzzing cloth or a clean towel. Um, if you have a fuzzing cloth, you wanna fuzz it on the side that has the tag. Um, the other side is a nice, oh, I have some tape on here. <laughs> the other side is a very su um, smooth um, microfiber that you can use to get smudges off your board or dry your transfer and all of that. So you wanna put it down and then just lift it up a few times. Okay, and then, did I use that? I think I did. Again, I'm gonna go back to my paste packet and you're gonna have kneaded it like so. White is always um, the thickest. And then you're, what I do is I just take scissors and I'm just gonna take a tiny corner off the top. You can barely even see that I cut a, a little slit in there. And then I'm gonna squeeze a little bit on the dish because we don't need very much. I'm gonna squeeze some out. Yeah, this is thick. Squeeze it out. Um, but actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys something else. Let me use scissors that aren't as nice. I'm gonna take the scissors and just cut down the seam. I'll just show you two different ways. So that was way number one. Way number two is I'm gonna cut down the seams of three sides, especially for the white sometimes. This way you can just open it up. See right now it looks like just this really thick paste on there. And then what you can do is take a stir stick or a toothpick or a chopstick and you're gonna wanna kind of, you could stir it up on the package or you can put it on the dish. I'm gonna put some on the dish like that. Getting all over my fingers too. But you always wanna maintain that consistency of like a sour cream or a yogurt. And if it's not, you can take a little bit of distilled water if you're just using a packet and you're not saving a jar, it doesn't have to be distilled. I'm gonna use some of the water out of here. It doesn't have to be distilled. Um, it can just be bottled water or faucet water. But if you're using a jar, you wanna use distilled because you don't want any of the minerals to cause molding and who knows what's in our water, right? So 
I put a little bit of water on top and I'm just gonna use something. It could be a spoon, it could be a um, popsicle stick. And we're just gonna kind of work it so that it gets a little thinner. I'm put it here. And then you can keep adding a little bit at a time until you get the consistency that you want. I keep meaning to go to the dollar store to see if they have cute little dishes that I can put this stuff on. And then I'm just gonna stir this up. Um, like the paste packets that are like red and green and other colors, I find that they're, they don't get as thick as the white. So I'm gonna show this because a lot of people over the weekend have um, gotten white and hopefully they're gonna be watching some of these videos now and they can see what they need to do. Let me add some more water. I'm just adding, I put too much water in this white jar. So I'm just taking some of the water from the white jar and adding it to it. You don't want it to be too thin because if it's too runny, it's going to run on the transfer um, and bleed through. But if it's too thick, it's not gonna go through the transfer and it's gonna be very chunky, which you don't want, okay? So we're almost there. Dun, dun, dun. We're almost there, it's making it nice and creamy. And then get the paste off my fingers. We'll leave that there. Um, I'm gonna try to find that registration mark that I did. And put, I don't know why I pretend like I can see this because I didn't wear my glasses again, but I think I think I see some of the registration marks. <laughs> we'll find out. And then I'm gonna take this, go like this, and then just smooth it on. You don't wanna press too hard because it is a layer. Um, I did quickly wax this, but I don't know if it had time to set. And remember, the paste is water soluble, so even the wetness on your transfer is gonna start breaking down the layer underneath. We're gonna get off all of the excess. Remember, a very thin layer. I'm gonna use one of these. Thin, thin, thin layer. So get off all of the extra. Okay, and then we're going to slowly peel this. Let me get more on that eyeball. I feel like there was a little chunk in the eyeball. Hold on. I'm just gonna go over the eyeball again. Super cute. I'm gonna put that transfer aside. Feel like that eyeball could be better. Hold on. I'm gonna take one of my pieces of board eraser and wet it and see if I can get that left eye a little better. Let me just dry that section. I'm really not a perfectionist, but my gingerbread man, I want to be perfect. Make sure it's dry. And I'm just gonna put that little eyeball. I mean, it looks kind of neat. It almost looks like a little pupil in there, but we can just put that back on top and grab a little more white just to make it perfect. Ta-da! There we go. What are you guys doing today? Mm. All right. Now we just have one more piece of this to do. And then we can go on to build our tray. The 
this would be so fun to have on Christmas morning. You can put your cookies for Santa on here or cookies for yourself. <laughs> hmm. All right. So this is the rosy cheeks and I'm gonna just use our peony paste to do these cute little cheeks. And there's also registration marks on here. Um, and you're gonna line it up. I really cannot see without my glasses. I'm guessing that's about right. Hold on. Mm -hmm. and we'll go there. I can't see a thing. I should have done it in white because I did it in brown and it's harder to see. Okay, that one's good. My eyes aren't awake enough. We'll try right there. I think that's gonna be good. Cheek there, cheek there, okay. They say, um, hey Lisa, how you doing? I'm gonna um, poke this right into the peony and give myself some cheeks. One cheek, two cheek, and then carefully just, oh, perfect. We have our cute little cheeks on there. Now. Now we'll just take off our placement tape. You can see how you can barely see the registration mark on there because I don't know what I was thinking doing it in brown on there. And then you have a fun tray and let's see what we're gonna put on this tray, guys. Um, we definitely need some hot cocoa. We'll put that on here. Um, <laughs> let's see. We have a fun coffee cup we'll put on here. A well, cocoa cup, I mean, cocoa cup. We have a fun little tray and we'll put some of these cookies on here. Maybe we'll go like that so you guys can see what that is. I'll take a better picture with it sitting up. Trying to get my sorry butt out of bed. <laughs> and then we'll put these cookies. Nikki's getting ready to PTO. There we go. Um, I got these cookies. Good thing I did this video for this video and they've been slowly disappearing from the pantry. Um, what else can we do? Look, I'm going to go, we're going to do, we're going to do this up. I'm going to pour my coffee in here as I make a mess. And then we're going to make a fun heart with our candy cane. Um, I was just going to put these snow mints inside the cup so it was peeking out. But if you guys don't have a Pampered Chef Lady, let me know, I have a good one. We have this fun cream maker and it, it does it in like 30 seconds. All you do is pour your heavy whipping cream in here and then go up and down like this. I'm gonna show you guys how cute this is. And if you already have the cocoa in the cup, you could have two cups to share, yeah? Just making some whipped cream. I don't know how many times I'm supposed to do that. Hold on. Sometimes I make it way too thick. Oh, perfect. I want to lick that. I should do some more, huh? Mm. Let's do some more. And this is just heavy whipping cream. 
with some powdered sugar in it. And we're going to like that let's see how thick we are here and then we'll take a spoon I could have used some more creamer in my coffee pretend that's a full cup <laughs> of cocoa right you could have some marshmallow or some of that and then look at these that this nice lady got me for in the mall what was she hickory farms but there are these cute, cute mint meltaways. And you can take some of these and you can top your hot cocoa with it. So as it melts, you have peppermint mocha. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. So you have your cute little tray. Isn't this adorable? Wouldn't you love someone to bring this to you on Christmas morning with a nice cup of cocoa or in the evening while you're sitting by the fire? Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna show you guys. When it's from the up view, you can see more that the candy canes make a heart. But look at this tray. <laughs> I thought my cup was gonna go away. Isn't that adorable? You could probably see it better on the table. I'm making a mess here. Hold on. So, <laughs> here we go my coffee I'm gonna have to pour another cup now so we have some double chocolate hot cocoa mix we have our cup of cocoa slash coffee Lisa said today would be nice you have some cookies and these and these look really fun too these little snow mints so maybe we can um, have that on the tray in there so isn't this super cute? It would make a great gift or just something fun to have. If you're worried you're gonna spill any of your um, hot chocolate on this or coffee on this, I would use um, like a Krylon Chalky Finish Clear Matte Sealer. Anytime I seal a chalkboard, I use a matte, okay? You could spray it right over here. Um, I may never leave home without this because I was at a show last night and one of my pieces somebody loved um, but when I told them they should seal it, they didn't buy it, even though they loved it because um, they were worried about messing it up on the right home. But she bought a lot of fun bundles. So if you're watching, I can't wait to see what you do with it. So this is the matte sealer I'm going to use to seal this after I go and photo it before all my whipped cream melts. <laughs> so thank you for joining me this morning. I have a million and one things to do <clears throat> because, um, because why? I have family photos today, and then I have a private party today. Um, it's been crazy. You know, last weekend I was down for the count, and then this weekend I went zero to 60 with um, Hobby Lobby on Friday, um, a bingo yesterday. Where do you get all your ideas? Sue, I don't know. I knew when I had the, these trays I knew that um, I wanted to make a serving tray out of it. I just didn't know what I wanted to put on it until I got this um, gingerbread man. So here's a website if you would like to get your own gingerbread man or if you would like to get some supplies to make your own project. Um, I'm gonna photo this. I think it's super adorable. And who wouldn't like this as a nice little gift, right? Yay. Have a great day. Wish me luck on my photos and wish me a lot of photo shop <laughs> magic for my photographer today. Okay. Um, and then my private party is after that. If you are interested in having your own private party or you want to attend one of my workshops, send me a message. I do have another Hobby Lobby workshop scheduled for December. It's after Christmas. It's December the 28th so that everybody can try to have a stress-free 
um, after holiday, you know, all the presents are unwrapped. You have done your last minute shopping. You just need some me time. Come and see me. We'll make beautiful projects. Um, you can pick what you want to do. There's going to be winter projects, new year projects. You can even get a head start on your Valentine's if you want to, or just might make some nice home decor that is not seasonal. So let me know if you're interested in that. Spaces are limited. Um, Sammy, no, don't eat that. Um, have a great day, guys. Bye.